it's this guy here for the bitchin' report. I am shocked at what I just found. I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while. I've been overwhelmed uh, down the rabbit hole of reading patents about weather modification. And what I have just found should scare the hell out of you. What I'm about to read to you is not science fiction. This patent was filed on May 21st, 2014 and was published March 31st, 2015. So we're talking a couple of years. I am, I, I'm shocked that, that this, that this is actually happening. And let me set this up. Anybody seen Star Wars? Everybody's seen Star Wars. You know what a Death Star is? Everybody knows what the Death Star is. Well, let me read this patent to you. And what, what you will find is this is that Star Wars was predictive programming. Now, I haven't touched on this before, but I know a lot about it. Predictive programming is such where, for example, during the Simpson episode in the late 90s, there were signs of that would say 9-11. And on the magazine, I think it shows two tall towers burning. That's predictive programming. Everybody that watched that was programmed to know that that event was going to happen. My personal belief on this idea is that what they are doing is they are using the collective mind. In other words, all of our brains together can create the environment we want to live in. Now, I know this sounds completely far-fetched and off the wall, and you're probably rolling your eyes. I can feel it from here. But seriously... Seriously, this is actually happening. I need you to go to your favorite search engine and check it out. Predictive programming. In fact, go to YouTube. There's a few channels I follow that uh, they have done some really good stuff on predictive programming. You need to know this uh, as part of the awakening that we are all going through. So let me read this patent And uh, I'll let you go do your own research on predictive programming. So this patent is patent 899-1766-B1. And the title of it should just scare the crap out of you. The title is Dispersed Space-Based Laser Weapon and Power Generator. Okay, 2015 space-based laser weapon and dispersed dispersed has a uh, an unimplied definition of many so we are going to have many meaning a lot of space-based laser weapons with power generators now let me read the abstract because this is where uh, you're just going to fall off your chair a dozen or more orbiting solar generators stay in constant touch They can be congregated rapidly in space at any desired secret location. Once congregated, they all focus their energy to a Death Star. This Death Star is a newly launched ICBM with a microwave or laser collector. A laser generator uses the huge energy to project a non-nuclear death ray to a target. The target could be a city. Hello? What in the hell has been going on on the West Coast? Cities just erupt in flames. Why are we seeing glass melting during a house fire, basically? Glass melts at a very high temperature, somewhere around, I think, 3,200 degrees or something. Don't quote me on that, but... Some, something like that, maybe it's 2,800, and a forest fire burns at about 1,100. So how did the glass melt? How are we having aluminum melt? See, I made a video. Go check my video out. 
I made a video about the Santa Rosa fire and the very odd things that had gone on. A few people chuckled, a few people said, you're just looking for things. But what I just read to you is that we have a space-based laser system that could target a city, a ship, or a satellite. In the event of an asteroid approaching Earth, the system could destroy an asteroid. In peacetime, the orbiting solar generator would supply electric power to an Earth-based power grid. You get that? So not only can they catch a city on fire, they can destroy the ship you're in, or a satellite that another country may be using to monitor this kind of nonsense. Because there is a UN agreement that makes it illegal to weaponize space. So what are these agreements? It seems like everything in the UN is just for show. The United States doesn't abide by rules. We make the rules. And when we break them, we just change them to make them the new rule. Welcome to the United States. That's the big secret. You're not going to hear that from Ted Koppel. So what do we got? We got a space weapon system that they are referring to as the Death Star is a newly launched ICBM with a microwave or laser collector. Hello, what have we just have happened two or three weeks ago? A rash, a, a scramble, a hurry to launch a bunch of satellites into orbit. Did you know a couple of days after the last SpaceX uh, missile nonsense that India launched a huge rocket with 35 satellites from six different countries. Did you hear about that? No, you didn't. Why not? Don't you think 35 satellites would be a much bigger story than Elon Musk's six satellites? Anyway, falling apart here. So go check out this this patent for yourself and see what you come up with. Sorry to bring you the bad news, folks, but we are the bad guys. We're the ones creating weapons that can destroy the planet. We are the paranoid people. We need to do it first before they do it. Nonsense. Darth Cheney was not a joke. So buckle up. It's looking like it's going to be a bumpy ride here in the next few years. Again, sorry to bring you the horrible information that the U.S. government is actually producing this kind of stuff. Okay, so I just rewound this and watched it for myself, and there's a couple of things before I let you guys go. The first thing is, is when you read these patents, scroll all the way to the bottom and read the titles at least to the other patents that are related to this one. Be forewarned, this is the entrance to the rabbit hole. This is the entrance to one of many rabbit holes. If you don't want to do that and you just want to watch a 10 minute video and get your information, that's totally fine. If you've got the time, I would suggest scrolling to the bottom at least and reading some of these titles, maybe looking up a few of these patents. Your mind will be blown as what, what is really going on out there. A lot of things will make sense, like this weather situation. There's a reason why our weather is like this, and it has nothing to do with Mother Nature. Check out the uh, chemtrail spotting videos that I've got going on. The second thing that I wanted to say was, uh, watching this for myself, it came across as kind of fear porn. Kind of, my hair is on fire, be afraid. And that wasn't my intent at all. The intent of this video and with this channel is just to bring you information that you otherwise wouldn't get through your daily life of going back and forth to work and fixing dinner and soccer games and all that other stuff that life has to offer. 
I don't want you to be afraid. I just want you to have the information so when it, the time comes, you can make rational decisions. You won't be so freaked out that you won't know what to do. That, that's all. So with that said, keep your eyes up. You never know. For the Bitchin' Report, I'm this guy here, bringing you the information you need to be an informed human being.